Do you sometimes ask yourself, why do my events always change their color when I move them to another track? And how can I make them keep their color even if I change the color of the track or if I move them to another track? So let's talk about how event colors work in Studio One. Don't worry, it's extremely easy, but you need to know it. So here's the truth. By default, events don't have a color. Now you're gonna say, why, and this event here is blue. Yes. It's blue, but it's only blue because the track where the event is on is blue. So this event does not have an own color. It inherits the color of the track. You can easily try this out. Just add some more events on this track. And now I'm gonna change the track color. And you see that all the events change their color as well. Or another way to see that is when you move an event to another track. And as you can see, the event does not have an own color it inherits the color of its track. But, and here's the answer to the question above, the event can have an own color. You only need to choose a color. You either use the inspector, because here at the top is the track color. Everything here is for the track. And this section here at the bottom is for the event. So this is the event color. So you can select a color here, or you just right click the event, and now you can select a color here as well. And now let's pick a different color than our track color. And as you can see, the event now has its own color. And it will also keep this color, no matter if you change the color of the track or if you move the event to another track. So this event now really has its own color. So only events that don't have a color, that have the none color, so to say, they get the color of the track. So if you want all your events on a particular track have and keep their color, you can select all of them. And if you didn't know the shortcut to select all events on one track, you can just hold shift and double click somewhere on the track and that will select everything on the track. So now select them and select the color. Now all these events have their own color and you can be sure that they will keep that color. Let's move them to another track and the color is gonna stay the same no matter if I change the color of the track. So before we come to the last part of this video, if you like the content I make, please support my channel, hit the like button and if you don't want to miss any new videos, hit the bell and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. Okay, so here is the last question. How to reset an event back to the none color so that it inherits the track color again? Very easy, just right click, open the color selector and here at the bottom right you see this little field. And that's exactly the none color. And if you select this one, the events inherit the color of the track again. Let's try it out and it works. And by the way, if you like to be able to select tracks by their color, as I do it here, then you might be interested in my free Navigation Essentials scripting extension for Studio One that you can find on studioonescripts.com. That's an official Studio One scripting extension. It's not a macro. These are entirely new functions for Studio One that you won't get anywhere else. Just download the extension file and drag it into Studio One to install it. And the next time you're gonna open up Studio One, you will have this macro toolbar with predefined buttons for each of these functions. For more details about Navigation Essentials, make sure to check out my Navigation Essentials video. Now, thanks for watching and I hope we see you again in the next video.